Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Ahrefs Content Explorer to find high traffic potential keywords in competitive niches. In my first video I showed you how you could use this technique to find a new niche to go in, a low competition niche with tons of keyword potential. In this video I'm showing you how you can tweak that a little bit so that you can find some good opportunities in a niche that you're already in. Let's go! Hi right guys, so for this you're going to need to log into Ahrefs. If you don't already have an existing account, you can believe you can get a seven day trial for just $7. Well worth doing. Once you've logged in, navigate to the Content Explorer tab, which is where I am now. Then in here, you're going to, put, going to want to put a broad keyword relating to your niche. So um, in this video, I'm doing high competition opportunities. So when I think high competition, two of the first niches that jump into my mind are insurance and finance so let's have a look at insurance i'm literally just going to put insurance in there very very broad keyword and um, there's you know millions and millions of queries right into insurance i'm going to tweak this filter here to be in title if we leave it as in content or everywhere you're going to get every page to that mentions insurance anywhere on the page um which is it's not ideal because you're going to get lots of stuff that isn't really related at all so in title is a good choice in your URL can work too but in title, I think is better. So let's search. We're going to get a list of nearly 7,000 pages there. Um, so you need to filter that down a lot. I'm going to change the language to English because that's the only language I speak. If ever you do speak other languages, do have a look at them because often you find there's a lot less competition in other languages. So there we go. Filter explicit results. Let's add a few of the important filters here. So let's add a domain rating filter which goes up to 15 and apply that and then let's add a page traffic filter which goes from let's say 500 in log in high competition niches like this 500 is quite a lot of traffic and you know a page that is making is getting 500 sessions a month can make some good money off affiliate or ad revenue so 500 is a good number to shoot for. Once we've now filtered that down, we've only got 220 pages here. We want to filter that a little bit more. We want to exclude home pages because you're going to get a lot of brands that have a lot of, sort of brand searches that are ranking at the moment and getting a lot of traffic to them. Like this one, for example, Advantage General Insurance Company, DR13, and it, that's its home page ranking for its brand name, presumably. So let's exclude home pages. And there we go. We've got some good opportunities here so insurance reimbursement rates for psychotherapy dr14 nearly 700 sessions a month could be a good one if you're in the sort of the health slash insurance niche car insurance postcode rating sounds interesting dr7 let's have a quick look at that so yeah it's not a particularly well written page it just seems to be a list of just of figures and stuff. So if you're in a sort of niche related to car insurance, I'm sure you could write something much better than this. Display the content better, put it in a nice table, make it easier to read and understand, format it better. And um, I'm sure sooner or later you could outrank these guys, um, you know, if this was relevant to your niche. So that's a good little um, opportunity there. Let's have a look at some of these higher ones. 3.6K here. DR8, five ways to get affordable dentistry without dental insurance. So if you're in the sort of health slash insurance space, this could be another good one for you. Um, can I visit urgent care with no insurance? Another good health slash insurance topic to go for. These guys have only got domain rating of three. So it's kind of there for the taking if you can write something better than what they've got. Um, let's have a look at finance as well. Go. Um, how a monthly bill calendar can improve your finances. DR9, 500 sessions. Finance a drone. I'm kind of looking for these higher traffic ones, but as I said, 500 in a competitive niche like this is a lot of traffic. So if you see any of these that are relevant to your niche, I would go for them personally. This is quite a cool little one. What does lien amount mean in an SBI savings account? 
I have absolutely no idea, but this site has a DR of zero. It's getting quite a bit of traffic. Um, it's a good bit of content on there. Seems to answer the question clearly enough, but it's not, not an amazing article by any stretch. Um, so I'm sure you could write something better. Um, so there you go. I think with these things, you just got to have a good look through, be willing to spend time looking for those opportunities. Find something that belongs on your website, something that is closely related to your niche. And there's some good stuff that you can usually find by um, doing this. And the same is true of any other niche, whatever niche you're in. Um, if you're in gardening, for example, chuck gardening in there. Play around with these filters. Maybe drop that a little bit. Maybe 10 might be enough. Put that up to a couple of thousand. And... Um, yeah, you can find some really good opportunities um, in niches that you are already in. So I hope you found that useful. Um, do subscribe, um, give me a like, leave a comment and all that shim sham. And um, I'll be back soon with another video. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.